And a Maryland surgeon diagnosed with Ebola has now died. Dr. Martin Salia lost his battle with the deadly virus at a Nebraska hospital this morning. Like the new Carrollton resident contracted the virus while working in Sierra Leone. And Nebraska's medical center doctors holding a press conference right now live. Let's take a listen. Focus on extraordinary care as well as the global educational and research elements is truly remarkable. It is the standard for quality and it is an inspiration for all. The Ebola virus infection is obviously an extremely deadly disease. We are reminded today that even though this was the best possible place for a patient with this virus to be, that in the very advanced stages, even the most modern techniques that we have at our disposal are not enough to help these patients once they reach a critical threshold. The focus needs to remain with a global emphasis on prevention as well as early diagnosis and treatment. Before I turn it over to our panel, I'm reminded of the words of Theodore Roosevelt who said, it is far better to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checkered by failure, than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in a gray twilight that knows not victory or defeat." End quote. It is my pleasure now to turn this over uh, to Dr. Phil Smith. All right, so you were listening there to the remarks from one of the directors there at the Nebraska Medical Center regarding the death of Dr. Martin Salia. He just passed away today. We know that he has a wife and, a chil and children who live in Maryland, and our John Gonzalez spoke with some of Salia's family today. He is live now in Lanham with the very latest. John. And Atria, the relatives tell me that the doctor's wife remains in Nebraska at this hour while family and friends are gathered here at a home in Lana, Maryland. Just a week ago, these loved ones were celebrating because the initial test came back negative. Well, now they are grieving and mourning together. I took this job not because I want to, but I firmly believe. Uh, it was a calling and that God wanted me to. That's Dr. Martin Salia back in April. The local surgeon was recently diagnosed with Ebola in Sierra Leone and flown to Nebraska for treatment over the weekend. This morning, he passed away. It's a fun loving husband. He's very compassionate. You know, he loved his job. I can tell you that. The 44 year old who lived in New Carrollton with his wife is now the second person to die of the disease in the U.S. His neighbor, a practicing nurse and fellow native of Sierra Leone, says he was inspired by the doctor. I was so excited that when I heard that um, they flew him back here for treatment, I was excited. I was like, wow, at least um, that's encouraging news. Salia landed Saturday in Omaha in extremely critical condition. He was the 10th patient to be treated in the state, the third at Nebraska's medical center. Hospital officials said he was perhaps the sickest of them all. In healthcare, um, you always want to care, care for people. And when this thing broke out in my country, the first thing that came to my mind, I wanted to go home and help. Salia went back home in April to help the sick there, a region in Africa that has seen more than 5,000 people die from Ebola. Seneb Sese, who works in the medical industry, describes him not only as a loved one, but also a mentor. We're going to miss him so much because he even went out of his way to take care of my stepfather back home in Sierra Leone when he went to visit and became very ill. The doctor loses his battle with Ebola after being in a biocontainment unit for only two days. He is survived by his wife, who again lives in New Carrollton, and their two children, a 12-year-old and a 20-year-old. Reporting live in Lanham, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.